Hey everybody, it's Jason Jeffries for the Alliance Project. Um, wanted to share you guys some information I found on the third secret of Fatima, Father Malachi, um, and some other people. I wanted to kind of go over some of the mysterious deaths that had to do with this. He was a well-renowned um, father of the church. And after doing this show, he basically says in 1998, that it was less than 20 years away. And then he fell down or somehow he died down a flight of steps right after this. Um, you do the math, that's 2017 is just shy of 20 years. He said less than 20. And he made, made that very, very clear. Uh, Robert Harrington's wife even believes that Robert Harrington was murdered because of releasing the Planet X thing. There was another Vatican um, translator and person that actually was fired for just saying the word wormwood. And I'm going to get more into that. But there's actually um, a few astronomers that were out there and talking about this and are reluctant to talk about it now or they're dead. So, um, and there's other people with other walks of faith. I wanted to note that the 100th anniversary of this is uh, let's see, about 20 days after September 23rd next year. That's about seven days before the 100th anniversary of communism. And uh, like I said, a couple weeks after this biblical sign on the heavens appears that was, you know, foreseen all those years ago. Uh, I'm just going to let, let you guys listen to this brief part of the interview. is about three hours long, but what I'm going to do is just cut it down to this eight-minute part and let you watch and listen. It's something that was written down by the person who received this secret information uh, back in the 19, 1930s uh, and the 20s. Uh, and the, the person who wrote it down is still alive. Her name is Lucia, and she's a nun in, uh, in, in Spain, in Coimbra. Is a Carmelite nun, and it's called the Third Secret, and it was sent over to the Pope, and according to the instructions that Lucia got, Sister Lucia got from the Blessed Virgin Mary, she says and claims, and we all accept it, that it was the Pope of 1960 who was supposed to reveal the secret and do and follow out the instructions, do what it said. The Pope of 1960 was the good Pope John, the 23rd. He refused to do that. He refused to obey Our Lady. He refused the mandate of heaven. He refused to publish the secret, and he refused to do what it said. Mm. And uh, consequently, consequently, uh, we're in trouble. That's roughly the third secret. Now, what's the third secret? It's rather a dire document, uh, ma'am. It's not pleasant reading at all. Uh, I'm under oath not to reveal the actual details of it because I read it. You read it. I read it. Uh, I, I can't break my oath in that matter, but it is not pleasant reading at all. Does this involve a chastisement? Yes. Several. Several. All right. Remember, I had the, the dubious privilege of reading the text of the third secret of Fatima, which I must guard my oath of repeating, but it isn't perfect. I have a whole stack of faxes here asking me to ask you about that, and you obviously cannot speak of that. Not factually, not word for word. I can't, I took a note. But it ain't the less, the less you know about it, the better, except that. There is going to be a reckoning, and that uh, nobody existing on the face of this earth will be exempt of knowing uh, the power from on high. They will interpret it in different ways. That could have been the reason. According, yeah, according, according, to their, according to their beliefs. That's right, their culture and their bias. And uh, there will be people who will be faced with the, with the certainty that there is a greater power above our heads who will say, 
They will deny it. They will. The science. They will reject it. The scientists, for example, will find a scientific explanation for it. Well, they will remember the famous so-called aurora borealis in 1938. Well, I, I certainly am aware of aurora borealis, but not one specific. There was a specific one. Which they explained by saying aurora borealis, which really wasn't bad at all. They all agreed it wasn't aurora borealis. The only one who put his finger on it was Adolf Hitler. And he so said. He say, and he said what? Well. He was in Bethlehem's garden at the Wolf's Lair. That was his famous uh, place he, for, for a weekend with his cabinet. And Speer, Albert Speer, who was a member of his cabinet, his architect, tells us in his second book, that night they all stood on the esplanade of his villa in the Bavaria mountains, looking out to the east and seeing these extraordinary sights of light. And Hitler says, yeah, soon. Now we have to shed blood. We didn't shed blood in taking the Tsar, we didn't shed blood in taking Czechoslovakia, but now we're going to shed blood. So he took that as a sign? Oh, he took it as it was a sign. The virgins who told the children in Fatima in 1917 about this sign, she told them it would take place just before the Great World War. She said um, it would be just before they start killing millions. Can you tell us in a way that we can read between the lines with regard to the third prophecy? Um, is there is there a timetable that you are aware of that cannot speak but cannot speak of that we can read between the lines on? Uh, yes, and no. There is a. It is not 200 years away. It is not 50 years away. It is not 20 years away. Number one. Well, that's... And number two, it involves the entire world system. It's not merely one area. It's not merely one religion. It's not merely one race. Will be apparent to all. All. Without exception. Okay, well, I think I've asked as much as I want to. We talked uh, some time ago about uh, three days of darkness. You said it would be dangerous to be abroad, outside your home, or even inside your home. Yeah. Um, somebody is asking, what is the nature of the danger? Is it civil, natural, spiritual? It's spiritual. 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 Yeah. The that, that particular prophetic, that particular prophetic fact, excuse my addiction, um, is based on a private revelation which churchmen have accepted, which the Roman churchmen have accepted, uh, made at, uh, in various places in the year 1846 in La Salette. France and in Fatima, Portugal in 1917 and then uh, at various other places since then and it concerns the arrival of a final chastisement of punishment from God to purify men and women and uh, prepare the, them for entry into heaven, not rapture-like, uh, according to uh, the normal for one uh, evangelical theory, but actually the end of the world. It's not exactly around the corner art. It's at the time when a figure called the Antichrist is abroad, and it's a very complicated issue, the whole thing, but the actual danger itself during those three days of Total darkness over the earth, the dimming of the sun completely, and no light. Uh, it's a time when the last efforts of the demons to run our lives and to uh, save, to rescue, take souls away from the salvation that Christ has worked out. Now, this 
brings up the whole question of function of angels and demons. We yes. must touch on that some other time together mm -hmm. and go into it. Otherwise, a lot of this talk is unintelligible to a lot of people, not even intelligible. So I wanted to point that out that I remember showing you guys in previous videos I've had that on 923, I was trying to decipher, you know, the sun and the moon turning to blood red and the darkness thing. And when we went to it, it had, uh, I showed you that in previous videos, I believe October, like either the 14th or the 24th was the cutoff or the perfect time, like for this full moon to be red and you know, something being able to be in front of the sun and block out the moon at the same time because the moon, you know, would be black. It would be the object eclipsing the sun so it couldn't turn red because you would be seeing the backside of it. So uh, it's really weird when you decipher that, that that's exactly the 100th year anniversary. A couple of days later is the 100th year anniversary of communism. And, you know, they're going to be celebrating that like crazy, I'm sure. And also, yeah, the whole 923 sign. So it's a lot to think about and how everything ties together with dates and prophecy. Just, just another thing to think about. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below.